Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Anderson Plays Virtue's Last Reward. Well, it's been a while. Sorry, guys. The world's sort of ending all around me, and I had to get my football gear, my spiky codpiece, and my mohawk ready to go. I'm definitely not ready. Anywho... The coronavirus has given me many opportunities just to sit around, hang out with my family, and uh, play some Death Stranding. So sorry, it's been a while. Plus, yesterday was my birthday, and um, uh, if, if if you do play Death Stranding, and it said that you had a high Dooms ability, make sure you play it on your birthday. You get some interesting stuff. Let me check my sound settings right now and make sure everything's okay. Yes. Things are good. Anyway, <coughs> it's time to solve this puzzle. So, let's do this. I figured it out, so I need to, uh, oh, 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 I need to collect these again. Oh, no, I don't want to do that because there's no point. I'm not going to be able to open it, so. All right, so what you need to do is solve this puzzle. Just to give you a heads up, is do this. The empty beaker. Let's fill this beaker. So now we combine this with this. And you get red, right? So, what you then do is... So that tells you the pH level. So, uh, archive. Uh, pH detection. Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, man. I forget how I figured this out. Anyway, hey, who cares? So, what we need to do is... Uh, do negative two. And then that would be the acidic water. Because, I mean, that's what it's saying. Because everything starts at six. So, you minus two. Uh, it would be four acidic water. And then plus one would be neutral water. And then plus three for basic water. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I just didn't want you guys to have to sit through um, all this bullshit, you know. Is that filled with water? Yeah, it looks like uh, water filled. Uh, come on. All right. Okay. I think I did it right. All right, let's do this. Um, what? what? number of boxes is insufficient. Hmm. A machine with a dolly. Should I put some in there? Uh, hmm. Huh. Well, it looks like, um, now we have to find some boxes. Hmm. Let's see. Let us see. See what these boxes are referring to. Hmm. 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 I thought I had all the boxes here.
Number of ration boxes. Please rectify them. So we have that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Please rectify. Should I put some in there? Well, uh, I don't know where the other ration boxes are, to be honest with you. Hmm. It's weird. Why? Where's the, um... Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay, let's try this. Yes, I... I'm sorry, I needed to... The dates of the, um... Or the food stuff. Look, the shelves, the shelves, the drawers. Whatever you call them. Yes, there you go. So we need to do more stuff. It's this, I mean, the problem with this is, is it's just rather annoying. Uh, it just takes a while to do this room. And I just didn't feel like having you guys sit through this bullshit. Look, another one. It just popped out. Let me just pop this thing on out. And these are the ration boxes that we need for that machine. And then after that, there's an even more annoying puzzle. Nope, nope. Ah, uh, no. Retry. <coughs> mm, sorry. There you go. Come on, drawer. Mm, coffee. I hope everyone's staying, staying nice and safe during this, uh, I don't know what you call it, a pandemic, I guess? It's really odd, like, it doesn't seem as, um, as, like, critical as many people are making it out to be, but I'm guessing it is, you know. Um, or, you know, hope not everybody's overreacting about something, but I don't think they are. By no means do I want to downplay it. I mean, am I nervous? Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, that makes five. Come on, let's do this. I think we have to get all of the, uh, boxes here. Hmm. Uh, pasta, I guess? Oh, soup. And what is that? Does that have a soda can cap in it? Ew. This, this, this food don't look good. I wonder what this box is. Is that a picture of meat? I guess it's some kind of ration. A ration? They're preserved food that can keep for a very long time. Sometimes they hang them out in the army. Given what's inside, it might be more accurate to call this a ra ration box. So in here is some meat that's been processed and preserved. I would imagine so. Hey, didn't we see something kind of like that somewhere else? You know, that reminds me of the machine on the dolly. Maybe this needs to be put in this, into one of the cubbies. Yeah. Duh. And fish. So we got some meat and fish. Okay. <coughs> mm, sorry, I'm trying not to cough into this thing on you guys. Sorry. Just moving, on, moving along here. All right, here we go. Let's do this.
in a minigame. The chart shows the nutrient values that each staff member requires for the next five days. Rearrange the order of the ration boxes so they, they match these values. By dragging a box over another one, you can swap them. Right, let me give it a shot. Hmm. Uh, so, soup? Yep, yeah, okay, we can. For bees, meat. Meat. Aw, uh, and then uh, we gotta swap it. Bees. Fish. For bees. Or bees pasta, and then swap C's fish for bees meat. For bees meat. Oh wait, 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 wait. back! Oh, I didn't get it. Come on. All right, so these. Bees soup for bees fish. So I have this written down. Uh, swap uh, bees salad. Well, I did that wrong before. Swoop. Swap bees salad for bees pasta. And swap seas fish for bees meat. <laughs> <laughs> These meat. Grr. I just solved the shit out of this. I just solved the shit out of this puzzle. Hey, um, aren't you getting a little too excited? Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out. Uh, did you see the screen? I just solved the fuck out of that puzzle. Sun, sun, star. This looks like the password from the AB room in the infirmary. I wonder if you can put this all in without solving all the puzzles. You did it. Now we can open the safe. Did I just forget what that was? I think it was like sun, sun, moon or something. Safe, where are you safe? Oh, I was right. You know what? I'm an idiot. It was right there. I passed right by it. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Um, there you go, safe pantry. Sun, sun, star. Okay. That was close. <coughs> there we go, we're out of here. We're blowing this popsicle stand. Piece of cake. Uh, I didn't see no cake in here. All right, let's see what we've got. First is another map. It says floor B. The one we found in the infirmary said infirmary said floor A. Yeah. So did the one in the lounge. Then that would make floor A the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down to get here. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. These must be the Ambidex cards, the moon cards. They have moons on them. Then. These have to be the cards the announcer was talking about. We've got two of them, just like with the sun keys. You take one, Clover. Huh? Why? Uh, dumbass, you need it. Well, you're solo, right? Alice and I only need one. Oh, right. Got it. Now what we've got left? A key. Is that the exit key? Yeah, it must be. This is our ticket out of here. All right. Let's get out of this panty stand. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I just want to see your guys' panties. Alice looks like a woman that would go so uh, commando, though. I don't really think she wears undies. This is the exit. It's locked. All right, here we go. Okay. Do it. There. Three, two, one. <coughs> Man, everyone's so dramatic in this game. I'm happy to know that they can count to th what, three. Oh, look, there's a little arrow there. Is this meaning like a one-way door? All right. 
an ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex ga gating pulls closes. The gate's been opened. One of the teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. I guess another group's entering the fray. Whoa, did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Fi, and Dio. Huh? I wonder why this is such a big deal. Wait, you guys went through the green door, didn't you? Well, why the hell didn't you come out the blue one? Hmm, there's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me. Have any of you seen Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? <coughs> He's gone. Gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left, but are on our way out. He just disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone, gone in? Gone in there? That's not it. Look at this map. What are we looking for here? Oh, so we go through the, the green door and the treatment center. And eventually you end up at the blue door. Looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to, to the one on air, floor A. In any event, we spent time researching, but but we have uh, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh, well, maybe you went back to the other floor already. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Fear I'll take a look, a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. We've got a better chance of finding him with two pairs of eyes. Right, thanks. Sorry about all this. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for them. Yes, please bring your jiggly jugs. Me too. <laughs> then we'll have floor A to oh, then we'll leave floor A to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Tell me Eugene and I headed through the blue door with Alice Clover. Oh no, sorry. While Alice, Clover, and Kay climbed into the elevator. Great. Hmm. I gotta look around with the old man. Been in the PEC? Hmm. Yeah, I've seen this room before. Except we were with Phi at the time, I believe. What is this place? Looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for the protection against viral chemical agents. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. <coughs> hey, there's another room underneath. Let's have a look then. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we've been in this room. This is where the other game ended with everyone committing suicide. Damn. He's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him if I'd just been watching. Tamiyuchi's face was drawn, and the knuckle of his fist were white. He was an old man, but until then I didn't realize how old. Suddenly he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. I put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him towards the exit. Looks like there's more stairs leading down there, too. <sighs> So this is the floor of the B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other one. It's pretty close, I'll give you that. Couple differences, though. Have a look over there. The doors are shining. No way. They're all white. Are these chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them. Just like the ones next to the other doors. 
I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go to the... No, first we look for Quark. Hmm. But... Look, I didn't think he's here. I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to, to Floor 8 now? Maybe someone else has already found them. Oh, don't look so sad, you little jerk. Sorry, I had a cough. Alright, let's go. Man, I just was trying to mute it so you guys didn't hear it. I don't think I've got the coronavirus. I don't feel corona. It's a shame. Corona's actually a good beer. And now it's got like this name over it. You know there's going to be a lot of stupid people out there that won't drink Corona now. Ever. Hmm. Dio. Oh, it's just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark. I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on the floor, eh? They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cud, so to speak. <laughs> what? Well, that's what ruminates, ruminates do, isn't it? <laughs> hey, this is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him too. Uh-uh. Why would I do that? Sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never seen, ever seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> that sounds like our politicians. That's insane. Yeah, there's... What? There's no way. Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenma Yuji. I told you it was a bad idea to swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. Damn. The air grew thick with tension. But before their tempers managed to set all uh, alight, Phi burst into the room. Oh, she looks cute with that look, that surprise fate look on her face. Good. You've got Temuji and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. <laughs> Did something happen? Just, you'll understand when you get there, all right? Now, come on. Where are we going? The crew quarters. <coughs> Man. Can't stop coughing. What's in the crew quarters? Is it Quark? Oh, yeah, they all die. Up. Oh, no, what in the world? Hmm. Your heart stops, your bracelet comes off. There was a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footset sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cottons. I pressed the shaking hands at Alex's neck. Uh, Alice's neck. Her, skill was, her skin was still warm, but, only, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Yeah, I think um, we've read this already. <laughs> They're dead. But then everyone arrived, cramming themselves in the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room. Uh, flowing into my ears and throat like cold, brackish water. Chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before, when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me, but Alice and Luna, I had known they'd been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick, lit blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. <laughs> who, who found them? And I think it was K, right? It was a full minute before someone answered. It was D Dio was there. Clover, I think. 
when Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they, they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? No, uh, Clover wouldn't have killed them. You got into a fight with Alice after the AB game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed? None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna too. She probably caught you off caught you offing Alice. So you didn't so you did her in too, so she wouldn't rat you out. <laughs> Stop it, Dio. The A B game is motive too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically the ally. If your opponent's guaranteed the ally, that's an easy three points. Who was Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You you do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? Especially one with such a nice personality. And more interested, I'm more interested in Alice's condition than her killer's motives. I'm as well. What do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. Well, she's barely wearing any. If it weren't for the knife and uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Or her one pant, her one uh, skirt part looks ripped. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping. If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there was a bed nearby? This is a little strange. But a better question is, <coughs> would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Come on. How did Zero Senior knock all, all of us out? Oh, yeah. That white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas and killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Um, uh, hmm. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I, for I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Quark. Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? Don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. That's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. Alright, then why did he disappear? There must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. That would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Dio, knock it off. That's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Well, we have to get to the A-B games anyway. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the head deadline is passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Alright, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Come on, we got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's good. some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at 6. Sigma's saying he won't vote. So if you choose Betray, Clover would get 3 points, bringing her to 9. Whoa, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. So you're going to vote? Well, you're right. How exciting. Sigma should uh, should have 6 BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is one is a one-on-one -on -one to fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Oh, this is definitely getting interesting. 
Right. We should get to the fl uh, Flurry Warehouse. Come on. I mean, how can you really trick somebody? It's, it's either you pick Ally or Betray. It's a 50-50 chance. <sighs> hey, Clover. Can you choose Ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose Betray. But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points. And then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get to get nine in the next round. Clover? Yeah? I said I want you to choose Ally. Okay. You'll choose Ally too, right? Of course. <laughs> oh, she gave me a strange sort of absent nod and turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. I wasn't sure if she'd actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter the AB room um, uh, of my own when I heard Fide's voice at, the, uh, at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Oh, hey, Fi. Something up? How are you planning the vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're both we're planning the planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is because Luna's not voting in this round, her vote will default to ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have nine BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are going to choose Betray. <clears throat> are gonna choose Betray? Luna's only got one BP left. But she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to, you have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait, you mean you're planning to escape? Of course. That's my girl. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone got 9 BP, I can't do that. You really think Dio's going to stick around once he's got enough points to split? You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. <clears throat> if you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have 8 points. <clears throat> I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need, it, you need those 3 points now. <laughs> So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover? Right. Why are you telling me this? How how do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have as much uh, about as much luck talking to Potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why, baby? I just know that you're important. Somehow. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? about a relationship. He's got six points right now too, you know. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Tamiyuji. Tamiyuji's only got one point left. So if he chooses ally, he's gonna get pen penalized. Exactly. All right, let's do this. One minute remains until Ambidex game. Polling closes. It's almost time. Remember what I said. Remember, remember the 5th of November. You have to choose Betray. She looked me in the eye until I nodded, then turned and jog jogged to her door. I mean, this, like I said before, this harem is really good. I don't know who I like. They all have their distinct personalities. Well, uh, well, two of them are dead now, so. Uh, let me check my flow chart, guys. Uh, yes, I need Betray. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promise I choose Ally. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, you're not. But Dio's almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm going to be stuck here forever. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. 9, 8, 7. Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? 3, 2, um, we're going to pick Betray, bruh. There you go. And we're on our way to the Dio ending. Round two of the Ambidex games have been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. The door ground, the door ground, the 
door ground open. <clears throat> oh, the door ground open, like, and I stepped out. All around me, other AB rooms were dis disgorging their occupants. Wow, he, his vocabulary got much larger. Wait, Dio. Fi's voice echoed hollowly across the room. I followed her eyes to the number nine door. And to Dio. Dio, no. I shook my head. I had to get to that door. What are you doing, Dio? No, he's going to try and open it. Damn right I am. But the results... <laughs> like I need to wait for that. Uh, Dio's BP was at 6. His opponent was Luna, and she is... Well, she is as she is. Her fight would have defaulted to ally. All he had to do was pick Betray. And he'd have 9 points, right? Excellent answer. I hope you remember to show your work. But... Vi was Dio's partner, and her BP was the same as Dio's. That means she has nine now as well. Exactly. It was the nine. It was nine the moment. It, it was nine the moment we stepped out of the AP room. Why? Why did, didn't you stop Dio from choosing Betray? You got the wrong idea, old man. This wasn't just my decision. We, we both decided to vote this way. Is that true? Yeah. I didn't have a choice. You didn't. Because of you, Luna's BP is negative one. So, she's dead. The dead should never come before the living, guys. Always remember that. What? She's going to die again. <coughs> Zero can pump all the poison he wants into her. It's not going to make a difference now. Besides, her bracelet's already fallen off. Ew. Then why did you... Did you try and stop Dio, Fi? I believe I heard you cry out, wait, as she headed towards number nine door. Are you planning to wait for the rest of us? Did you just want to get your BP dying to reduce your own risk? Sorry, but no. The only reason why I stopped Dio is because I need to know what, what someone else voted. Someone else. But that would be... <laughs> I feel like a dick. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. See, when I play a game, I really don't like to be a dick. And, like, lie to people. It just makes me feel really guilty. Please direct your attention to the results screen. <laughs> Damn. Nine, nine, nine. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Check, please check your bracelets to see your updated bracelet points. Nice. That, no. You betrayed me, Sigma. Why? <laughs> what, uh, I? What other choice did I have? To keep your promise, you jerk. You liar. You're a coward. You don't care about anyone but yourself. All you wanted was to get out of here. You're horrible. I hate you. Wait a minute. Just listen to me for a second. Whatever I did, Dio and Fi were going to get the 9 BP. The door would have opened whether I had 9 points or not. So, all that means is that you picked Betray because you don't want to get left behind. No, that's not it. How could we know if they were going to go get help once they escaped? I, can't tr I can trust Fi, but Dio is different. I didn't know what Dio might do to Fi after they went through the door. What if he turned out to be Zero Senior? So I figured if they had, if they were going to escape anyway, I should go with them. Make sure they... Is that it? Is that your excuse? Liar. Liar. Pants on fire. Hanging from a telephone wire. You're just like Dio. You're a coward. Look, Clover. I don't care what you think about me. Or right? You're just like a person I meet on like Facebook or something like that. You could say all the mean things about me you want, but at the end of the day, I don't know you, and I don't care who you are. So whatever you say to me, don't matter. No effect or bearing on my life. Whatever. Just fine. I was stupid to trust you. Clover, I... I heard a clang and turned. Why can't everyone else just exit? I don't get it. Once the door opens, just run through it. 
I mean, you're gonna die anyway. Sorry. I went ahead and opened it. Gonna have plenty of time to watch soaps on the outside, so I didn't feel like I needed to stick around and see how this little drama played out. Dio! Dio! Alright, ladies, lady and gentlemen, shall we? Why so serious? This isn't the time for hesitation. You both crossed the line you weren't supposed to cross. You betrayed your friends. Am I right? I'm right. But you didn't have a choice, did you? You had to survive. Isn't that the way an animal thinks, though? Don't get me wrong. I see the logic, but it's kind of animal logic. Still, you made your bed. Now you gotta lie in it. If you're gonna be an animal, be an animal. Own it. I'm a manimal. The losers, the weak, throw them away. That's how nature works, my friends. That's life at its most pure. You get me? Now come on, hurry up and... Let's get the fuck out of here, guys. You know, I've seen some YouTubers actually, like, beeping out the curse words um, when they're speaking. I, I really don't like that. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Well, stay if you want. No skin off my back. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. Wait, I don't believe in censorship, to be honest with you. God damn it, Dio. I believe you could say whatever you want. That's why we have the First Amendment. Tamiuchi left forward, no matter how bad. Dio faked left, then dashed. Dashed right, slipping around Tamiuchi and through the door. Three, two, one, zero. <clears throat> the number nine door's closing. Go, 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 go. Let's go, Sigma, but shut up. Just do it. I looked at her slightly confused, but before I could respond, her hand closed around mine, but my arm, like a vice, and hauled me bodily through the open door. I don't know why they don't just try to get in there. I mean, they're going to die in there regardless, so why don't they just try to get out? He didn't say anything about people going through there and dying if they did. The number nine door is closed. This ends the non-nary game. Thank you for your participation. Sigma, Phi, Dio, open up. Open this goddamn door. Tamiuchi's voice was muffled by the thick steel, but I could hear his desperation and anger. I tried to ignore it. Going up. wonder what's at the top. Another door? It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. then here we are here, here we are is that a hallway only one way to find out just as Phi had guessed on the other side of the door was a wide hallway <laughs> unfortunately it seemed to stop at a dead end it took only a second to find a familiar looking door on the left side of the hallway we opened it stepped inside hmm what uh Oh, this must be the prep room. I think I searched this place with Dio Luna. Well, this is probably just another one that looks like it. You really think you would have been able to get through something on the other side of the no number nine door? Hold up. You know about the one on floor B2? Yeah, I visited it with Temuji when we were looking for Quark. Huh. So you know that the pressure in here is a lot higher than the pressure outside. What? Oh, you didn't... What are you talking about? Didn't I just say what say what I'm talking about? The air inside the facility is kept at a high pressure than the air outside. <gasps> Apparently they're going to keep it they're doing it to keep the virus from getting in. If you're leaving, you have to lower the pressure until the it matches what's outside. This room is where you prepare for all that. See all those suits over there on the wall? 
They keep you from getting infected once you're outside. You have to put one on before you can go into the pressure exchange chamber downstairs. <laughs> How do you know all that? Luna told me. Really? Wait, why did Luna know all that? Apparently it was in a manual she found in the room we searched. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, go back. You said there's some kind of mysterious virus out there? Well, I didn't, wouldn't say it's mysterious. I think it's that Radical Six thing Alice was talking about. Don't quote me on that, though. That sounds bad. Well, we've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's get those suits on and head outside. No argument here. Let's do it. We climbed into the protective suits in silence and headed down to the pressure exchange chamber. <laughs> With a quiet hum, the process began. I could hear the soft hiss of air leaving even through my helmet. There was nothing to do until it finished, but wait. Then out of nowhere, Dio spoke up. I never thought I'd succeed so easily. It took me a moment to realize his voice was coming from the speaker on my helmet. Apparently, the radio was designed to activate automatically. You mean getting out of here? No, you're thinking too small. I guess I can tell you who I really am. What? You see, the thing is, I'm a hero. I was sent here from, a far, from far away to save mankind. What? Too surprised to speak? Uh, Dio, I think maybe you should calm down a bit. We're all excited to be getting out of here, but never mind. You're clearly too small-minded to understand. We were still going back and forth while the quiet hiss of air escaping slowed. And stopped. And Dio at the end of the, end of the room slowly ground open. Maybe he's like a time traveler or something? Maybe he's an alien? We walked through to find ourselves in a nearly identical room. After two more decompressions, the last door finally opened. We're in space. I stepped outside and gasped. A dark landscape like none I'd ever seen late spread out, spread out before me. I couldn't help but stare. <laughs> what the hell? That's Mars, maybe? It looks like a desert. I can see that. The question is, which desert? I don't know. I can tell you that it... Tell you what day it is, though. Huh? Look. The moon's red, see? That must be a total lunar eclipse. Yeah, oh yeah. I remember you were talking about that in the lounge. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere, but this makes it appear to be red. Essentially, what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. <clears throat> I'm going to have a bunch of people from Flat Earth on here. No, it's not true. Do you remember when the next total lunar eclipse was going to happen? <laughs> yeah, December 31st this year, New Year's Eve. That's what the magazine said, at least. Hmm. Well, there you go. So today is December 31st? Wait, shit. If I got grabbed Christmas morning, then that means I, I've been here for six days? Looks like it. We should get to the nearest town. <clears throat> okay, and where would that be? There has to be one around somewhere. Even deserts have some towns, whether they're in the Mojave, Sahara, or Gobi. That's not what I'm worried about, though. What are you worried about? Forget it. Doesn't matter right now. Come on. Tell me. I'm curious now. You can't do that. Impossible as it might seem, I could have sworn I heard her frown. I'm worried about whether or not there are any survivors. If Alice was right about the virus, are you saying humankind might be extinct? What the hell? No way. That's impossible. The whole species can't just die or out in six days. That's... I hope it's not the case, of course, but there's the possibility. Whatever. We should get moving. There's still four people stuck in there, including Quark. We need to find help and come back for them. Okay. I turned to take a step. There was a rough crackle over the radio and the sound of someone falling. Falling. Turned back around to see fire on the ground. <coughs> hey, are you alright? What happened? I ran over and helped lift her back up. She fumbled for a second and then clambered to her feet. Where, where are we? Her voice was low and rough. Huh? Ah, I see. 
Hmm. This timeline. Timeline? She didn't respond. I was about to begin a more irate line of questioning when she suddenly grabbed me by the shoulders. Hey, where's Dio? Dio? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him since we got out. I'm sure he was with us when we left. Shit, we need to split up and find him. W why? Because he needs to tell me something. Why are you asking me this? What? Don't tell me you forgot. Wait, maybe not. You must not have made it this jump. What? She wasn't making any sense. Damn it. Look, look, forget about that. Just find Dio. I'm going over that hill, so you take the other direction. O okay. But she already taken off with a wet, without waiting for my answer. I watched her for, for a few mo mo uh, moments confused before turning and heading off to look for Dio myself. Damn. I didn't see him anywhere. We, we should be taking this road. Whether the hell, where the hell did that guy go? I was also looking for him, looking around, trying to decide where to go next when I heard him. Them. The signal must have degraded, but I could still make out a few words. Hey, are you, Dio? The voices were cutting in and out, but I heard that last word clear as day. Dio, sounded like they, they, uh, fight found him. I spun around and took off in her direction. That tra transmitter. See, phone. Bet free souls anxious. Bet free souls anxious from you. How, how do you? Hmm. I know uh, about you. Now you're mid midoms. What? The transmissions were getting clearer. I had to get closer. Never mind. I, I have to ask you something. What's the password for the number zero? Number zero? The hell you... Man. I'm no man. How the hell can you crack jokes right now? You haven't given, given me the answer. What's the activation code? Hey, what are you... Arr, stop! Oh god, they're fighting. This is why you don't split up. There was, there was no rush. Shit. That didn't sound good. I sped up and quickly crested the hill in front of me. There they, there they were. Oh damn! It's like Cain and Abel. Stop! I went down the hill as fast as I could, running half sliding. The suits on, I couldn't tell who was who, but I had to stop them. Clamor to my feet, slightly winded from my ordeal. <clears throat> the suit figure, figure I'd slam against lay on the ground next to the, f the other one. I move over the pier through the visor. Dio. His eyes were closed, almost like he was just sleeping. My tackle must have knocked him out. He's not wearing that stupid hat anymore. Thanks. That was a close one. No sweat. <clears throat> What's this transmitter you're talking about? You heard, huh? Yeah, well, it's right over there. See that briefcase looking thing? Okay. He was trying to use that to get in touch with somebody. What the hell did he get? Probably had it hidden somewhere. Wait, hidden? What do you do, shove it up his ass? Are you saying Dio's been here before? Yeah, probably. My guess is he came here, hid the transmitter, and then snuck into the building. Snuck in. I wasn't quite sure what to make of that, so I decided to take a, cl a closer look at the transmitter. There was a screen on the upper part with a bunch of numbers that looked, well, like nothing. What the heck is this? Uh, let's write this down, dudes. Um, uh, cuz, I think this is a bomb code. Uh, give me a second, guys, sorry. I know it probably remembers this for me, but so let me see seven eight one five three. Uh, I can just look this back up. I think I wrote that down right. Is that some kind of phone number? Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine nine. No, it's too long for that. It's twenty five digits. What is it then? Don't know. I assume it's some kind of code, but I don't see any key to decode it with. I heard an odd crackling noise in my helmet. It took me a moment to realize it was. It was a voice, Dio's voice. 
<laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, God. You guys just had it so fucking backwards, I couldn't help myself. You can't find the key to decode it. Well, no shit. The key's right in front of your face. That's the key. The message is somewhere else. You need those 25 numbers to dis decode it. None of what he was saying made any sense to me. <laughs> Dear, what's going on here? Who are you trying to call with this thing? What? You don't know? At least one of you is uh, appropriately ignorant. Fine, whatever. Might as well tell you. I don't really have a reason to hide my identity now that my mission's a success. <laughs> Besides, she'll probably tell you if I don't. Might as well hear it straight from the horse's mouth. <clears throat> Dio shifted to put his hands behind his head, but didn't bother to get up. I began an organization called the Myr Myrmidons. They're probably never, you probably never heard of it. But there might be a few people out there who've heard of Free the Soul. If you haven't, well, it's a sacred religious order with over a million true believers. The Myrmidons are the hand of fate, hand of free, the hand of free the soul. We do what needs to be done to bring us closer to the new world free the world free the soul promises. So you're a cult. There are some people who might call us terrorists. Then again, from their point of view, I suppose we might be. We're all trying to tear down the corrupt world they've been built after we're all. But when the sun drawn dawns for the first time on our new world, we'll be hailed as saints, holy messengers who clean the filth from a dying planet. Well, well, only a handful of people will really become saints. Not even all the Myrmidons will be guaranteed sainthood. First, you have to be raised with the teachings of free the soul from birth. Then you have to be chosen to join the ranks of the elite and achieve great things. Returning from this mission would secure my position. Free the soul is built around the teachings of a man named Brother. We found we founded our order many years ago. His teachings are too profound for ordinary people to understand. But you could say that the core idea of his doctrine are to separate oneself from the worldliness, to destroy greed and to divorce the soul from the body to cleanse it. Those who follow his teachings with discipline and devotion will be reborn as a new, uh, as a new form of human. Only this new species will be able to live in equality, in a world without war or starvation. Brother was born in a poor family. I've been told he didn't know his father, and that he lost his mother at a young age. The only family he he had was his younger brother, a boy named Left. What? Who named her kid fucking Left? They said brother had a special power, and that he was able to touch the thoughts of other people and see into them. It left him sort of like the um, transmorphic -mor field. It left him constantly exposed to the filthy greed of mankind. When brother was 16, Left was found dead. His body was covered in bruises, but the police only made a cursory investigation and quickly ruled his death a suicide. Later, brother would find out that the killer had paid the police a massive bribe to keep the truth hidden. Uh, he burned with rage, but also found himself immersed in cold despair. Eventually, he received the divine revelation. Mankind was thoroughly corrupt by greed. They had to be purified, and a new world created. God had given brother his mission. That was when he was he began to teach the others the truth. And at the age of 26, he started Free the Soul. Once Free the Soul was established, he devote, devoted his research to, to resources to research human cloning so that he could create the new species he foretold. He abducted, I mean, he invited to assist him a team of scientists from a research facility in the United States. And a year later, the first 10 new humans were born. Those ten were the first generation of Myrmidons. Incidentally, I'm the fourth generation. Our DNA comes from left, brother's younger brother, Snake. That means that we're all, we all share a face, and now we're all given the same name, Left. Some people think that's weird, but individuality seems much weirder to me. If everyone looks the same, there's no such thing as race or even individuality. With cloning, you don't need even need different genders. How could you? get more equal than that. Still, there's a little random deviation, and other factors can influence a clone's development. I was the best of my generation, so I was choosing to leave the Myrmidons. I was probably sent here because Brother noticed the caliber of my skills. My mission was to infiltrate this facility. <clears throat> when I was given my orders, I thought this was going to be my chance. In all of my life, I've only ever once been punished for breaking our laws. It had to do with women. 
I had come in co contact with this someone unclean, and I was considered corrupted. Even if I was punished heartily, harshly and purified my soul, my dishonor remained. I wanted to prove my loyalty to brother, so I was determined to be successful in this mission no matter what. My entire purpose is to be a part of the Foundation, Brother's New World. Now that I've fulfilled that promise, that purpose, for the first time in my life I understand what true happiness is. Oh, Holy Father, Holy Brother, Holy Master, my sacred mission is at last complete. With these two hands, mankind is saved. I am your will made flesh. In your name I give thanks. His voice had taken almost a almost reverent tone, and as he finished speaking, he made some sort of odd sign over his chest. Fi shoved his hands away. I don't care about your goddamn mission. You did this to us. Now we're going to... She grabbed the rock she held over her only minutes ago and lifted it over her head. Uh, Fi, what are you... Shut up. You still have to. You still haven't answered my question. I'm going to ask you one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? Bomb? God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now tell me, what's the password? She swung the rock down towards Theo's head. Wait. Okay. Okay. Fine. It's not going to do you any good though. I completed my mission. What are you going to do with the password at this point? Not your problem. Just give it to me. Otherwise. Hmm. The bomb. No skin off my back. The password of the zero bomb is... Oh, okay. Um, so I didn't need all those numbers, I guess. Let me write this down. GDQ. Okay. Hmm. If I toss the rock off to the side... You heard that right, Sigma? Huh? The password. I'm going to try my best to remember it, but I won't know if I managed, managed to until after I make the jump. Quantum leap. Do, 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 do. There's a chance I won't remember anything, so you need to memorize it just in case. Got it? I had absolutely no idea what she was talking about, but I was beginning to understand that it was probably pretty important. With that in mind, it repeated the strange series of letters over and over in my head, doing my best to memorize them. L X A Q N S G D Q. Okay, we're done with you. Let's go. Go where? Not sure, but I think he does. Get up. Hmm. If I grabbed Dio's arm and hold him to his feet, he jerked his arm away, uh, petulantly, began to walk. Is there a city near here? Yeah. Well, not really a city, I guess. More like a shelter. Some people who survived the disaster live there. Disaster? What disaster? Just shut up and follow me. You can see for yourself. I looked up. It must have been a clear night because there are more stars than I'd ever seen before. I thought I could even see the band of the Milky Way. I don't think we're on Earth. And in the middle of the field of stars shone the full moon, a gigantic orb blooming in the center of the sky. Has it always been so big? I really don't think we're on Earth. I'm really confused by that ending. Wait. What? Uh, so, it do you as a part of some kind of cult? Um, Phi is some kind of jumper? And we got some kind of bomb code. And she said for us to remember it for the next jump. So, wait. Are we going to be jumping somewhere? Like, hmm, I guess this is a bunch of, like, time-traveling junk, too. Oh, man, I'm confused. Anyway, we're up past the hour, uh, the hour point. And uh, I guess I should end it here. But uh, quite an interesting ending. We've got a few more endings to go. Uh, but this is really good. I hope you guys are enjoying. I am. If you are, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe because it makes me feel good. And make sure you have a good night. Good night.